For more than a century, Arabs and Jews have battled over this sacred stretch of desert between the Mediterranean Sea and the Jordan River. For members of the Brenner family, it's personal. They've been fighting and dying on this land for five generations, living and breathing one of the world's most intractable conflicts. Now erupting once again in the Israel-Hamas war. The first words that I want to say, it's uh, that I pride to grow in this family. It's a legacy older than Israel itself that started with Shani Brenner's great-grandfather, Yosef Chaim Brenner, born dirt poor in 1881 in what's now Ukraine. At the dawn of the 20th century, he fled the Russian army, part of a wave of Jewish immigration to what was then called Palestine, and became an icon of modern Hebrew literature, writing dozens of books about life in the diaspora. So somewhere along this stretch of road is where Yosef Chaim Brenner was murdered in 1921 in what became known as the Jaffa Riots. Nearly 100 Arabs and Jews died in that violence. And more than a century later, this street looks nothing like it did back then. And yet the violence hasn't stopped. Yosef's son Uri's fight would be for Israel's independence. He joined the Haganah, the Jewish underground army, and became a commander in the fighting unit, the Palmach. <laughs> Uri's son Yochai remembers when his father jumped out of a tank and broke his back in a body cast for months. He was promoted to the Palmach's second in command, his old battalion taken over by future prime minister Yitzhak Rabin. Long after Israel's independence, Rabin seen in this 1995 video with Yochai and his family celebrating Uri's life. Later that year, Rabin was assassinated by a right-wing ultranationalist at a rally for Arab-Israeli peace. Yochai's fight started at 18 as a paratrooper, commanding a platoon in the Six-Day War in the Sinai Peninsula, now Egypt. Just a few years later, he was in Syria, fighting in the Yom Kippur War with three others from his kibbutz. They were all killed, he says. We didn't call it post-traumatic stress back then, but I came back with a very deep sorrow. But soon a call came from Yoni Netanyahu, current Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's brother. And Yochai was off to Uganda on a secret mission known as Operation Entebbe. They rescued more than 100 hostages from a plane hijacked by Palestinian militants. Yoni Netanyahu was killed. Given how many people you have lost in your life to these wars, how do you feel about your grandchildren now serving in this war? I worried when my kids served and now my grandkids, he says. We never stop worrying. Yochai's daughter Shani worries too about her daughter Neve, now serving on the front lines. Shani works in the Israeli prison service in the dental unit, now caring for some of the Hamas terrorists who attacked Israel on October 7th. Do you feel like you have to separate your own feelings from doing your job? Of course. And brera. There's no choice. No choice. Have you given up on the possibility there could be peace? Yes. Now, yes. But the Brenner family will keep fighting, she says, for a country they can't take for granted. Josh Letterman, NBC News, Israel.